Good evening, everybody, live and direct on Instagram for Sunday evening. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of what's going on with your forecast. Again, you can get all the details on what's happening on our various social media networks, or you can go straight to WREG.com slash weather to find out more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South. Taking a quick look at some of our cameras out there, again, lots of cloud cover. That is actually what is helping to kind of stabilize things for a little bit, less sunlight, is adding to less active weather across the Mid-South, and things are starting to improve, but slowly. We'll talk about that in the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Right now from our tower cam overlooking the bend in the Mississippi River, things decently quiet for right now. Looking the opposite direction to the north-northwest from our cotton exchange camera over Mud Island and I-40. Cloudy, kind of hazy out there, and more chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the evening. Now, most of what is going on from about 7 o'clock tonight, we do have Again, a few leftover showers and thunderstorms north of us, and that's continuing to move on out of the picture as we go into the rest of the evening. But we do still have a few areas of thunderstorms continuing to pop up right back around northwest Mississippi and then also into around northeast Arkansas. We do have, again, a little bit more of this going on, and outdoor activities, graduation ceremonies, things like that are going to have to deal with this for the rest of the evening. All the warnings have been canceled from earlier around Dyersburg. Those thunderstorms have moved off to the east northeast and continue to move out that direction and for the metro area and northern mississippi not really that much left over at this time add to that the severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect for the area has now been canceled so looking pretty good there very warm very muggy across the mid-south tonight temperatures back in the high 70s to lower 80s just past seven o'clock sunday evening but heat index numbers are still up there and decently warm and muggy and will continue that direction not only for tonight along with those chances of showers and thunderstorms will look for that same pattern to emerge throughout the rest of this next week. So not much of anything is going to be changing anytime soon, which means very warm, very sultry conditions throughout the rest of the next several days. And if you have outdoor plans, there will be that possibility of more showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the next seven days. What do the next 10 days look like? Well, we'll have more on that coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks to everybody for the pictures out there. Jackie Smith from around Old Covington. Some some of the damage reported today, including some toppled trees into and around some structures up around that area and getting more information from the National Weather Service out there and some stormy clouds from News Channel 3 viewer Crystal Alexander around Hickory Flat, Mississippi. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures from yesterday as well. Clint Starn, some lightning from in and around the area of Lakeland, Tennessee, back into around Millington, some dime to penny sized hail. Thanks to J.P. Rockin for that one. And from Memphis Radio's own Radio Memphis, Rick Cheddar reporting some frigid air shaped ice falling from the sky in and around Cooper Young. Thank you guys very much for that one. Got pictures? We'd love to show them. Send them along to Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter or on my Facebook page or here on Instagram. We'd love to see what you've got out there. And stay tuned for my forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on AM 730 with Bob and Josh. We'll have more coming up on my Facebook page and on News Channel 3's Facebook page later on tonight. St stop by for News Channel 3 at 10. Mike Sadie has sports. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. And of course, you're truly with more on the forecast coming up a little bit later this evening and of course Todd Demers has more on daybreak bright and early starting at 4 30. Live and direct on Instagram I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's update of your weekend weather ending forecast and stick around for a lot more on News Channel 3 on social media and throughout the rest of the week and into next weekend as well.